Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Android 100 Extreme. Who would have thought that piracy is so much fun? I'm having a lot of fun right now. Finally also paying Miss Hunt back her past crimes. I'm looting her ships. What is that? A ball and chain? That probably belongs to her bedroom. I don't know. Uh, 25 is the selling price. Let's get rid of that once more. Ugh. I think it's not really clean. Now onwards we go to our next productions now, that is the piggies in Swanell. Now Swanell has one thing that is space, but it does not have qualified workforce or a good fertility for most of the things that I need. So we are going to get the piggy started and get the processing done in Scanlon where we do have the workers, but not that much space. Uh, space wise we will use this area here um, and we do need to be, yeah we do need to be careful unfortunately. I could do one thing, I could get the potatoes, nah we cannot get the potatoes potatoes anywhere we are also really capped on this it's not getting any easier so we're going to start with that processing industry right up here uh, we don't need that much for the beginning right so the slaughterhouses of course we do need so let's get us a bunch of them up in uh, this sorry corner uh definitely also important i have fire station as my people tend to like to set things on fire writing they also do like so i might need to have someone to beat them down there you go, a nice police station on top of that. Um, we do have a consumption for sausage right now, a demand of a three per minute. That means three slaughterhouses. We have a six um, slaughterhouses. I would like to bump this up to, let's say, eight slaughterhouses. That will be quite enough for the foreseeable future. Let's also get us another warehouse up and running. That would be then somewhere over here, most likely. And this one is now for the soap. Now the soap consumption is probably not that high it is at one right now one soap factory produces two uh, that will lead to a total of eight that we can get out this block here that however needs eight rendering works in total so two of these blocks then here in addition to that this will be the total soap consumption for quite some time and we still have some room left over here for some breweries or anything else like that Perfect. I think that is it. Let's go ahead and get us cracking on the first ones. We need to be very careful here now with that. So one pig farm is providing one slaughterhouse and one pig farm is providing um, one rendering work, which is half a soap factory. So we do need to have three, four, five. Let's make it six pig farms for now that I need to start with. We have 17,000 coin. That is fine. Let's go ahead. Two, four, six. That was 3,600 coin and of course some workers and farmers. Now Nikush is going to be my first trade route really, what an honor. And it's going to take this trade route here. Look at my symbol, I love my symbol <laughs> on the map. And he's going to transport pigs, pigs only for the moment. Nikush, off you go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we will not have to do the waypoints, right? We're just going to make it so that it's very close on the map, right? So the ships have to go to this point here and only then take the, uh, do they take the next shortest route to the warehouse. That should be somewhere here, which will lead to being outside of the radius here. But Nikush will show us how smart he is, oh, how smart the captain is. We continue in Jensen. Because in Jensen, I would like to use, first of all, my timber to build a pub to make things really happy for those people here. They do have some fish as well. And in Jensen, we can now go ahead with my grain farms. We're going to need a lot of them. And once again, only the grain. Because the processing will need to be done then in um, Scanlon. However, I might think about getting the, the flour mills actually also on Jensen, right? So because they only need farmers now my total consumption demand for bread right now is at three that leads me to a whopping three bakeries let's make it nine bakeries as a um let's actually make it ten so that will lead to five flour mills that we will need in total for the foreseeable future let's also get us a fire station on its way right somewhere here and then only well the grain farms and it's a lot of them it will lead to 10 grain farms that we need in total let's just see if we can squeeze that in and voya, well, yeah, there we have it, 10 grain farms providing the grain for bread and also then beer along the way, of course. For that, we will need to boost them most likely. Uh, let's just see, let's actually put the, the gunboats here to passive defense mode and assign them a patrol here. So they're going to patrol in this area now, destroying any schooner that comes along. Nikush made his first turn successfully and still alive. Very proud of you. 
is now going to deliver the pigs. The pigs are not in in Scanlion re yet because of course consum or production needs to ramp up. There we have it, 22, and with that we will be able soon to start that process. Now we can also start the process with the green farms. By the way, I would like to start with. How many should we start with? That's the question. They're very expensive. Two of them will cost me already 2,400 credits. And with that, we will also need one flour mill. This, however, is not enough as I will need a second round of that. That's those two green farms and that flour mill. And as we can see, we're getting a bit red with this. So I do need to continue with bumping up my uh, population. Let's upgrade us a few more people. As many as we can actually on our road to break even for the workforce. This should lead to some proper income again. And by the way, once the sausages, of course, will roll in, we are getting we're we're going to see some nice increase here. One more thing I would like to consider as well is that timber production here. It is getting a bit too close now. It was built in a age an age of need. Now it is not needed anymore. So what we can do though is we can well bump up my timber production in Swanel. And ultimately, yeah, get rid of it on in Scanlium. So for that, should we afford a road all the way up here? I would really not worry about timber anymore. This road costs me 365 coin. We can do this. Let's do this. And let's build us then some sawmills up here in the high north. And I can squeeze in one lumberjack hut and another lumberjack hut here as well. Let's actually build them right away. There you go. And we still have that zinc deposit that I will be able to use. And here I would then like to just go ahead with... Let's make it three more sawmills. And they will get their respective lumberjack. Mm, and I'm not going to build all of them yet. That should be fine. And I'm going to wait a bit here because my balance is deep red right now. We are getting closer to 3,000 credits only now. So I should actually watch out that we are making some profit again. And how can we do profit? Of course, destroying Miss Hunt's ships. Three gunboats is amazingly nice. I could also build us a few more schooners that we're going to sell them to Archie. Fleet ready. And there's the destruction of yet another schooner. Oh, there's some loot. Perhaps we can find something nice out of that. At Archie, there's nothing yet that I could use. So we are just going to wait now for the piggies to come in. There they are, 34 piggies. By the way, something we should be able... Nah, let's not do this. Let's not afford that. Let's start with the slaughterhouses. Warehouse and two slaughterhouses. Off you go. Mm, I will probably need two more, to be honest. <laughs> That is just really a lot. Let's build a third one and boost them. That should still be the better choice overall. Let's not forget about the fire station. Holy cow! We're going to get negative now. Now there's another idea. Everybody trades with Archie and there's always schooners in Archie's harbor. Why not just send my gunboats over, destroy them and loot and sell it directly? This should make up for a better profit overall. Let's get my gunboats over there for now. Of course, we should make sure that we have some gunboats then as well in my harbor area. So let's build another one of these buggers. All right, slaughterhouses. Slaughterhouses are working now. The sausage will be coming in and will need to lead to a nice tax boost. There is also the church. The church is not providing tax income. Beer is providing tax income, but we don't have enough, have enough workers yet to sustain that. I will need a few more schooners though. So let's build two of them actually. And look who's passing by in Archibald's Harbor. Of course, it is Miss Hunt's schooner. And we will be able to quickly dispose it and get the loot. Fleet on the move. Fleet We're moves. negative now, by the way, so balance is of the essence. There you go. To coordinate. To that unfortunately is only so Archibald. There is also the Admiral coming along with one of his schooners, New so we can orders. also get rid of that. Let's sell Dorothy schooner, so we are positive again, but holy cow, we are not looking good with the balance right now. Station. 
friends. Aha, uh -huh, a gunsmith. We can sell for 2,800 coin. Let's do this. Of course, this will not work forever because the AI will simply stop sending schooners over if there's warships in the harbor area. So they're they're smarter than that. Uh, with a bit of coin that we got, I might actually consider building me the next... Hmm. Yeah, uh, the next... Production. Now the soap is in. Let's activate that and have a look at what it does to my balance, which is hopefully, yep, going up again. Very good. From 550 to 380 already to 240 now to probably 140 soon. And also my population goes up with that. The barnacle is going to be on my next trade route. Hello, barnacle. And you are going to now deliver me the flower from all the way down here from Jensen to up here, Scanlon. Right, let's make it actually two times once again. And the barnacle off you go. Be rather secure on this one at the moment. Time. Oh, look at that. Another schooner is getting confused at who this harbor belongs to. Stations. Another gunsmith. I'll take that. 2,800 coin. Alright, what's Miss Hunt doing? She's got three cannons now up and she also has the first gunboats. I will now need to retreat my gunboats from here and send them closer again. Otherwise, she's going to turn it around and actually attack my um, my schooners, right? So we need to protect my ships now. Swanel, meanwhile, uh, we should be able... Yep, let's do this. Build us a few more houses. That's really only for tax purposes. I have nothing else in mind here. Unfortunately, we don't have any potatoes in Swanel. That means no additional tax income with schnapps, at least for the moment. Let's build a second fishery. There's also the first flower coming in, and with that we will be able now to fulfill Ship the route for attack. the bakeries. Oh, one of my ships is under attack. Ah, this is this is getting nasty. I will always need to remind ourselves here that we do need to set a waypoint if we want to get to RG. Meanwhile, we got four gunboats now ready. This should help us a bit more now against the growing fleet of Miss Hunt. Moving to coordinates. And next up, hmm, should we build another one? I'm very hesitant. Let's build a fifth gunboat and another schooner for sell, for sale. And let's also build us the bakeries now. I do have a consumption of bakeries of three, so we do need at least three bakeries to only counter that, which is just insane. Mm, let's go ahead and add a, oops, some more bakeries in here. That will lead to five. And then we can um, still add some more now in this area. Build the warehouse and let's build the first two bakeries. Expensive. 2,000 it costs me. But this is the only place where we can really have them as I do have the workforce here. Let's actually stop the bread consumption and the soap production uh, consumption for now. A school would be another building, so we should provide this now. School service building. Lucky us, we do have some space over here. And also some space over here for both of them. Because both districts, of course, will need some schools. Something, unfortunately, I have to do is increasing my storage. And with that, let's bump it up the harbor area to tier 2. 2,500 coin that costs me, but it's going to lead to 75 more tons of storage for my Ship for my whole island. Attack. Now, yep, there's the first gunboats attacking now. Let's try to, to get them. There's also a schooner over there. So it's getting a bit busy in this area now. Very good. Have a look what we got here. No, I don't need that. Foam extinguisher. There is the gunboat. Let's quickly dispose it before it takes down my schooner. So it's getting a bit busy there now. With the remaining money we have, I might actually build me now some two um, rendering works and one soap factory. Right, and with that, the soap production is now starting up as well. And we are below 1,000 credits again. I should have to the bread in there. Yep, I do. Let's open up the bread now for my workers, leading to a bit more income. Attention, and that gunboat is going away again. Another gunboat we have, so that leads to five now in total. That's going to be nice. Fleet en route. Uh, uh, this is going to be a really nasty area. <laughs> I can see that already. Another schooner comes out. We are probably going to sell it then right away. Yep, I will need the coin. We are slightly positive with the bread now coming in. 
I don't have the money though for school. So we do need to sell one schooner to get the money in for that school. Uh, there's the pigs coming in once more. In the harbor of Scanlon. <laughs> and I might, I might, I might, I might. Uh, no soap in yet. Picking down schooners is now really easy with fine gun, uh, five gun boats, of course. Uh, some hops here. And, oh, soap. We can use to sell this one. I could also... Nah, we are producing it ourselves, so I'm not selling it. I'm not using it for myself. We're going to sell it at Archie. Let's get the gunboat over. The remaining four just stay in the area. Fleet embarking. I could simply go to print. Another newspaper guy. You in this recently polished app. Go for 10% income now. And 10 negative consumption. We continue with that. Leads to 360 now. No rides so far. So we don't need to build any police Empire stations. Any further Earth. police stations. And really we should be having the soap now in. Soap maker. What's going on? Starting you up now. Alright. What is the pirate doing here by the way? <laughs> Do you want any of my soap? There is no stealing. There is a cliff in, uh, between you and my soap production. Storage-wise, we're fine. The bread is now stable, albeit on a low level. And the soap should really be coming in any time. And then we can start this up. School is the last building that I'm missing. Regarding my fish production, we need to ramp this up for that. Another warehouse over here should be fine. And we do have a bit of space here. Bear in mind, we will also need that space, of course, for some sand mine stands. So I will need to make sure that we do get some fish out but not that much so i probably will be fine with this yeah that's that's perfectly looking let's build one of them for now we really are on a tight budget i don't want to overdo it it's and right. soap is in now let's activate soap that will lead to a nice boost in income and then only the school is missing New orders. oh yeah we could also just shoot some ships in between since there is still no resistance, yeah, even though the Admiral also has gunboats now. Let's sell the soap. That should be... Yeah, 1,500 coin. 1,800. Very good. Ready for Olympia is also coming in, ready to be sold. Ah, yes. 2,500 coin. Thank you very much, Archie. Let's get the gunboats back to my fleet ASAP. And with that, we have the money to build us the first school. A very sophisticated building. A very beautiful building at that as well. Which is the last demand. And with that we have all the demands fulfilled for the workers. Ready to advance to artisans. How many weapons do we have in store right now? 22. And also some sails. So we will be able to build some frigates then right away. Which is my primary goal of course. I was looking down here by the way defense wise. Uh, it's, there's no defense yet. I, could twist this, your face. I haven't forgotten this island of course. Because there's the fur that we're going to need. Alright, materials are in, soap is also in, even though it's, well, well what's going on here? Well, consumption is actually pretty high for the soap. Mm, let's build another one, it's expensive. Uh, we're still fine. Let's also build us one more bakery and one more slaughterhouse to reinforce all of that. How's my tier 1 looking, by the way, schnapps is... Nups is looking really bad. We're not boosting it yet. No, we're not. It's boosted by 25% respectively. Ah, nope. Not with the distilleries. I will just add two more distilleries. Right, which is, yeah, increasing my workforce problem. By the way, also, mm, we have the pigs here. There's never more than 50 tons each turn, right? No, there's not. So what I would like to do here is, for the pigs, let's also take the timber Ship under attack. from Swanell to Scanlon, right? That's the flower. There's the gunboat for it. Let's destroy the gunboat. Uh, or it's actually backing off again. Moving to coordinates. Because I will need to get rid of this timber production here. Let's start with the first one. A competitor raised a I do need that space here for additional buildings. Alright, who settled where? Uh, nothing that worries us for the moment. We can happily continue with some more buildings here. That's more farmers. And a bunch of them more here as well. Right, leading to level 16 on the income. 6,000 people, 300 on the income, 1,200 coin. It's still not enough. Everything is in. 
I think we're ready to go. We are ready to go. Let's upgrade artisans and greet them into our city. You reach a new milestone. Tier 3. Fine of crafts. Of age of fine craftsmanship, that is. A bit of more coin comes out of these, tax-wise now. Lots of new demands, of course. And way more important... Frigates. Uh, we're lacking some planks now, of course, but we will be able to build the first frigates then. 15 tons of weapons each. We will actually be able to build two of them right away. With that, we've also opened up the expeditions. And I think one of my frigates will do this then. Also, an artisan quest. Steam shall never supersede sail in the imagination. I envision canopies of sail above shell-linked walkways. Right, what do you want? Help, my brief A delivery quest for some no sails. Easily done. And with that, we've also now forcefully discovered the pirate with artisans. That means that the pirate will start attack us now on sight. Turning in the quest gives me what exactly, please? Come on. The palm tree chef. 22,000 coin or boosting the cannery. I think I'll take the coin with that. 22,000 is amazing. Alright, and as we can see, there's the pirate already coming. He will now attack us. Let's Enemy attack him first. Perhaps the pirate yields us some nice, some nice loot. Pirating the pirate, I call this. Just all just and fair. Usually there is some good loot where the pirate ships were. And a midshipman. This is actually boosting the movement speed of my ship by 10% or we sell it for 7,000 coin. With that, we have two good items to sell. By the way, it's looking a bit busy in my harbor. Though we have Nikush waiting here, but I cannot afford anything else right now. We can build the first frigate. Commission is on its way. That's going to be a nice ship, and that's going to be a game changer for us. Great commission. So the ships are a bit faster. Oh, there's another pirate. But that one is not attacking me yet. So we should be fine. Oh, look at that. No, it's not attacking my schooner. Perfect. There's another schooner coming out though. Uh, what can we do here? We are pretty full on the timber. I could boost my storage now. Force 1 now. Let's do this. 2,500 coin is definitely going to be worth it. There is no loot in stock, unfortunately. We are really hurting Miss Hunt here, by the way, with destroying these ships all the time. That's great to see. I will want to upgrade a few more people. Another block of artisans. Leading to a nice income. And one of those frigates will send them on an expedition. So far so good, we are alive, that matters. We are, well, expanding still. And yeah, well, we are starting with the conquering and the expedition soon. Faster than the opponents, I hope. Who are now, yeah, well aware of, of my presence. Building up defense. Of course, when you have a war declaration with them, they kind of like act differently, more aggressive, and more military focused, and that's what we wanted. That's what we achieved. Competitors are now at war. Oh, and Harlow and Alonso are also now at war. That's the pirate, of course. Alonso did not want to pay the, the money to, to keep the peace. So far, so good. Stay tuned. <laughs>